Hey guys, let's talk about fears. Got a minute? Now, I wanna talk about specifically what I call go-at fears. These are fears that specifically that you're afraid of, but you can go at them. Like if I'm afraid of roller coasters, then I can go to a roller coaster and I can get on a roller coaster and I can overcome my fear by doing it. So first I wanna share this. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. The main thing is we don't wanna be controlled by fear. So I encourage you to make a list of the things that you are afraid of and identify what can you go at. Now I know this might be easier said than done, but what can you do to overcome fear, to show that the fear doesn't control you. I know whenever I played football, one of the things that I had to do was whenever I lined up against somebody that was a lot bigger than me, if I acted like I was afraid, then I would end up getting run over. But I had to take those fears and say, no, you don't control me. And I'd throw myself at those fears or at that person. And I was better for it. I use this strategy a lot during my life because the things that I'm afraid of, I don't want to control me. The first time I jumped out of a plane skydiving, I was scared out of my mind. But the second time, it wasn't that bad. It was me throwing myself at my fear and not letting my fear control me that ended up changing me. I'm not telling you to go down that shady alley by yourself that you know that people usually lurk in. But if you're letting fear control you and the things that you do, and you're used to that, whenever it comes time for you to push past the boundaries that you've already set up, the things that God is calling you to and that you're not comfortable with yet, you're not going to be used to it. The muscle memory will kick in and you will bow to the fear. So that being said, head at your fears because God hasn't given you a spirit of fear. Don't let that fear control you. Thanks for taking a minute.